What's up guys, it's Jay, Morning After Kill, and I'm back here on Destiny, live in a tower, and it's Friday, and we all know what Friday means on my motherfucking channel, right? <laughs> That's right, it's time for another visit from Zher, the agent of the night, he's a rare NPC that shows up in a tower once a week with a backpack filled of exotic gear and weaponry, and from the looks of it, this motherfucker has probably brought something good. Please let it be a uh, Twilight Garrison or a uh, Tarantella for those of you guys out there that don't have it. But look at look at this crowd. We haven't seen a crowd like this for a man with a face full of dicks in quite some weeks. So let's go ahead and see exactly what he has before anybody else spoils it at the bottom left hand side of the screen. Let's see what he's brought for us this week. That is not what I was expecting. <laughs> Budgie! What, 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 are, what are you guys all... Are, 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 are these guys all standing around for disappointment? Or, 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 or were they hoping for something a little bit different? As was I. Because I saw everybody standing here. And it looked like everybody was coming here for something awesome. But instead... Instead, we, we got this. Damn it. <laughs> alright, alright. So, before I fuck up like I did last week, and thankfully nobody called me on it. <laughs> the Helmet Gram. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that was actually a uh, legacy engram from last week. And you would do yourself a very good favor to stay away from this unless you're looking for a year one heavy weapon. If you're not, then don't buy this. Don't be fooled by the legacy. I was almost fooled by the legacy. I saw head and I was like, oh my god, Sharon's gonna give me some head. A little bit of old head though. <laughs> it was some head we've already gotten before. But you know what? What grandpa said before. The only head that's the bad head is the head that you're not getting. <laughs> so, we also have the Dragon's Breath, which actually has an update for a uh, year or two. It's been changed a little bit when it's brought back. It now releases a solar damage napalm when you release the trigger after firing it, which is actually kind of cool because I heard really cool things about shooting this thing straight up in the air and kind of dropping it like it's an airstrike across the map on uh, the Crucible. <laughs> and check that out sometime, but uh, however, like I said, I don't play very much PvP inside of Destiny, but uh, I mean, who, who, who could deny this paint job off the old uh, Kitty Hawks, Warhawks, whatever you want to call them? Looks absolutely amazing. Although, kind of sad that it no longer has tripod on the uh, perk rolls, but you know what? It now it does have a little bit of a uh, different than uh, what it does from year one, so there is a little bit of a trade-off there. And for the warlocks out there, we have the Apotheosis Veil, which will give you immediate health, melee, and grenade regeneration upon activating your super. And the perks that it come with is uh, replenish health when you pick up an orb, which is a very good uh, perk to have on your uh, gear. I have it right there. I like the rockets. Although, if you have a Trials uh, helmet, ain't nothing wrong with the... Uh, where is it at? Yeah, boy. Gaiden bonus super energy from reviving others. That's my shit right there. <laughs> Those of you guys are like, Mac, why are you always reviving people inside of your Trials videos? All right, now you know. Now you know. I have one of those uh, on my other characters, on my other characters. But for those of you guys that are hunters, we have the Knucklehead Radar, which gives you a radar that remains visible while aiming your primary weapon. No matter what primary weapon that you're using, not a bad perk for those of you guys out there that do like to do a little bit of, uh, you know, pvp -ing. However, inside of PvP, I like to run my booger boots with my Mida. Makes me super fast. I can just kind of basically strafe almost as fast as a warlock 
can uh, run. <laughs> it's pretty fucking awesome. But those of you guys out there that like to run your Titans, you have the no backup plans with the shotgun kills, trigger, force barriers, and force barrier durations. Let me just say this, right? Warlocks can fart on you from like 10 feet away and gain an overshield, right? These Titans can gain overshield with shotgun kills. Why the fuck doesn't the Hunter have any type of overshield abilities at all? Please? Maybe? <laughs> like, I get it, like, the Blade Dancer has Blink as an evade, you have the Night Stalker, they have the uh, Shade Step as an evade, can, uh, can the Hunter, you know, the, the Gunslinger, can, can we get some type of uh, overshield? Maybe, please, some sort of balance? Between the parody of classes, I'd really enjoy that. <laughs> As always, we have the bottom row. I'm, I'm gonna start. I'm gonna, I'm gonna give this, call this home row. Kind of like it's a, you know, a keyboard where you tell you to put your fingers on home row. Because it never changes. <laughs> we got glass needles, which will allow you to change the interior perks of the uh, exotics. So if you want to change any of these... It will not mess with any of your light or any of your uh, perks on the outside. It will only change the interior perks and allow you to customize your gear just a little bit more. Then, as always, we got the three of coins, which give you the chance of gaining exotic engrams from the end of PvP matches now. And also from killing ultra bosses in the PvE. Not a bad pickup. Let's go ahead and... Uh, actually refresh some of our stock here on the old trace of the cone edge <laughs> and then we got heavy ammo like i said if you have the strange coins laying around you probably do have a little bit of extra laying around because you probably got it in the uh post master everybody got 15 strange coins 15 motes of light to... and for logan in this weekend you also will receive an emblem in your post master on, I think it's January the 12th, don't quote me on that, but it's somewhere around there. And as always, that's right, we have Legendary Rarity Sparrow Upgrades, which will turn your blue Rarity Sparrow into a Legendary Rarity Sparrow. Guess what? That's right. It's gonna give you the color of the contrail, as denoted by the color of the contrail on the player weapon card. I'm fairly certain we've all got that out of our systems now. <laughs> Even though I still have yet to, to actually use one of these inside the game, still say it week in and week out, because I like to make my videos for people. I don't like to come at the end. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> hey, hey. We've gotten through most of the new year without that, that, ooh, back. Put it away! <laughs> one day. One day. But yeah, I like to make my videos at the angle, coming at you from somebody that's never played Destiny ever before. So if you watch my video, you have an idea, maybe an inkling of exactly what's going on. Even though I can't explain why this man has what appears to be a cloud of semen. Either penetrating his face or trying to penetrate the world from behind his face. I'm not exactly sure the mechanics of what's going on there. Let's uh, let's go ahead and just slowly back away. Hey! Get out of here, hipster lumberjack. <laughs> so... My name is Jay, more than Kill. I want to thank you guys for watching. Make sure you guys rate, comment, and subscribe. If you can leave a thumbs up on the video, I'd highly appreciate it because it gives me motivation to make more videos for you motherfuckers and watch my motherfucking videos. It was definitely not worth staying up once again. For sure. Even though everybody I got me all excited, they're all standing around there and it looked like the good things were happening this week, but it actually wasn't. It was just the group of sad, disappointed, eager guardians hoping for Bungie to throw them a little bit of a bone. But Bungie, Bungie, Bungie's giving us a bone, all right. <laughs> so, my name's Jay, more than kill. 
Thanks for watching, and I'm gonna see you guys later.